So, in my last video, I talked about how by using my own findings and my own medium skill level, I believed skill-based matchmaking was affecting the average player far more than you may actually think. And that it wasn't just a bunch of high quality players um, in the Call of Duty scene wanting to crap all over the lower skilled players um, that were suffering and complaining. It was affecting players of all skill levels across the board. And no sooner had I made that video talking about Call of Duty, where I felt it stands and what I think can be done to set the ship straight, do we get some, what I think is great news. Now, it looks like Call of Duty may have just pulled an extra life out of its backside uh, with the news that the Microsoft purchase of Activision is getting even more likely to be happening. The EU seems to be happy with uh, Microsoft's offer to keep the game on other platforms, including streaming services provided by Nvidia uh, and providing games on Nintendo Switch. And uh, to be honest, it's most likely going to be for their next console. Solidifying the promise for the next 10 years at least that they won't use Call of Duty and Activision as a stick to beat the other platforms with. Now for me, this is really great news, really positive. And in my mind, it gets us even closer to the end game that I said in my last video of applying pressure on Microsoft and Phil Spencer to ease up on the skill-based matchmaking that's being used in the Call of Duty franchise. The game itself has become a bit soulless uh, and a bit of a money-making husk where the bare basics are dripped to the COD addicts, sorry, community, who play the game. And they do it just enough to keep players like me, and probably like you, hooked. Now, I'm an older person and I've been playing games for a long time and I've been around the block a little bit, so I know when I've had enough when somebody has pretty much taken me for a ride but some of the younger generation out there will not be so lucky. And I genuinely believe that games like this and FIFA should be investigated for feeding and fostering a perpetual addictive framework within their games. With the sole aim to siphon as much money from people as possible through aggressive, almost predator type psychological mind games. I understand companies like Activision are a business and they must treat it as such but there are lines and for me a working in real time in the background system to inflate or deflate my abilities hit detection my ping uh, audio volume etc all with the aim to manufacture a feeling of addiction is a step too far and i don't think it's being overly hyperbolic to call this practice unethical and downright nefarious they should be putting in as much effort to create the game, uh, um, you know, adding great mechanics, working features at launch, a well thought out concept, and more than seven 6v6 multiplayer levels at launch. But unfortunately, I, I get the impression that the aim is not to keep us happy, but to keep us hooked. Now out there in the world, there is another type of person whose way of working creates stunningly similar parallels to this, and that's a drug dealer. And I don't know about you, but I don't like being used that way. It's not for me, and I don't like it. Well, the acquisition of Activision by Microsoft, I think is one leap closer to becoming a reality. And with it, the community is at least one step closer in getting someone in charge who will take what we have to say seriously. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you all again soon.